A tragic story coming out of the revelry surrounding the success of the Ice Bucket Challenge. A man who'd helped raise more than $100,000 for ALS research died over the weekend. Across local outlets, friends and family are all saying the same thing. Corey was all about family, friends, and giving back. Corey just, he, he threw himself behind a lot of causes, um, w way more so than anyone of our generation, and just put his heart and soul behind these things. Kind of the way Corey's lived his life, it's always, um, it's always about other people. He was very committed to giving, um, and he put 100% effort behind it uh, for, for several different causes. In what the Nantucket Police Department says was a drowning accident, 27-year-old Corey Griffin jumped off the roof of a local business and into a harbor around 2 a.m. Saturday. His family told the Boston Globe he'd been in Nantucket to raise even more money for ALS research. His father said Saturday he was the happiest guy in the world. He called me last night and told me he was in paradise. That happiness had come at least in part from Griffin's success. He'd again already raised more than $100,000. Griffin was a friend of Pete Frady's, the former Boston College baseball player with ALS who was credited with inspiring the Ice Bucket Challenge. So far, it's raised more than $11 million. Griffin also attended Boston College, where he played hockey. Frady's wrote on his Facebook page, Team Freight Train lost a good friend today. He worked his butt off these last few weeks for ALS. We texted every day, planning and scheming ways to raise funds and plan events. Griffin was a Massachusetts native, but had been living in New York City, where he worked for a finance company. He survived by his parents, brother, and sister. He had also worked for years to raise money for Boston Children's Hospital. Thanks for watching. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.